Josh Miller stands at the 10 yard line for this third down punt. It bounces to Clemens. Clemens reverses his field. Look out. Penalty flag is down, though, but here goes Clemens. Miller is after him, can't catch him. But there is a penalty flag. We'll wait for the interpretation. That flag was thrown very, very early in the play, so I'm not exactly sure what it could be. Possibly holding on to Ron Worley. A 63-yard return for Mike Pinball Clemens, and it will go for naught. Holding, slaughter number 35, first down. Norm Casola was guilty of holding, but as you said, the flag was thrown before the pinball had reversed his field and started towards the Baltimore end zone. But what a costly penalty. Clemens with a couple of Moves right here. Caught everybody going the wrong way. There are not one other person except Henry Gizmo Williams and Michael Pinball Clements when they touch the ball on punt returns that can have a fans standing on their feet. Clemens moves up, takes the ball within an area where there are players, but it isn't going to matter. He's gone. Josh Miller may have pulled the leg as he moved up to try and make the tackle. There was going to be a no yards call against Baltimore, but Mike Clemens denied a touchdown by a holding call the first time he returned one in this third quarter. He adds five yards to his previous run back. This is a 68 yard punt return touchdown for the pinball. And you know, when we talked with him yesterday, he was so excited about the new look Argos of 1994, mainly due to the fact that the plans call for him to be used much more offensively, as well as his usual role on special teams. In the run and shoot offense, Mike Clements became obsolete and expendable. Now with this offense, Mike Clements becomes exactly one of the most exciting football players that's in the CFL. And one of the most well-liked and popular guys, not only in Toronto, but across Canada. He received the Tom Pate Memorial Trophy this past year for his involvement in community work in Toronto. His wife and uh, the latest addition to the family, a child born just this spring. His daughter, Rachel. Very excited. Here's the difference now. Mike came up this time as opposed to the last time. He fielded this punt on the run. He was going to get the no yards penalty. Knew he was going to get the no yards penalty. The one thing the coverage team didn't know, they didn't pick up where the ball was to try to find it. They had to back off and look where that ball was. By that time, Mike Clemens had fielded it, made the shot up the middle. Look at that. Two guys missed tackles. And at this point, kiss it goodbye, guys, because the scenery isn't all that good when you're chasing Mike Clemens. Yes, the back of his jersey waving goodbye is not something you want to not see too often. Let's play, Mike. Let's play. Yeah, this is where we break the back. What a play now, Mike. What a play. Mike, now's the time to ask Obi for a raise. <laughs> well, he just signed a new contract with the Argos. Well, back at Skydome, I suppose you'd say that Pinball Clemens is the definition of class. I think, Don, you pointed out that he gave the ball to his daughter. Rachel's only 14 and a half weeks old. He proudly pointed out she's attending her first ever regular season CFL game. But he said that run back was for the late John Candy, the late Argonaut owner who's being honored at tonight's game. And uh, I think uh, players the league over agree that Pinball Clemens exudes that word class, Don. Well, he exudes class. You know, he's the last player to leave the field after practice. Youngsters around asking for his autograph, and he accommodates all of them. And it's a conscious effort on Michael Pinball Clemens' 
is to stay, is to stay there and make sure that everybody is accommodated and taken care of with an autograph, with a signature, and he is one that really gives something back to his community.